What's the dumbest player character death you've ever seen? Rogue's burged out about having to help people who get hurt by traps. Rogue falls into a spike trap in the next room. Rogue begs for help but refuses to apologise. We let him bleed out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'll ever understand people like Gurn about doing stuff whenever that's what the class was designed to do. Exactly. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I get it. I get it with healers. I get it with clerks. You know, use a spell slots. You've only got so many. Yeah. They're not going to get, he- you're not going to get healed. It's not a fucking video game, guys. Yeah. You know, it does work differently. Yeah. But like, a serial of Gurn by class, sort yourself <laughs> out, would you? Sort yourself out. You deserve to be bleeding out on the floor, you know? I had one that was so stupid. I had to stop play to collect myself a bit. The party had been fighting flood-style corruptive infection monsters and had been taking the utmost care to not even come close to them if they could help it. Had seen brief contact kill things much stronger than themselves and they had just freaked out because they were forced into close quarter combat with one. They managed to kill it and were discussing what to do next when one guy pipes up that he wants to go over and eat the corpse. What? (laughs) Okay. That throws me off a bit. And I let him know in no uncertain terms that not only would that kill him, but would endanger the party. He smirks autistically (laughs) and says he understands. That's no problem. What's going on in his brain is, so you're saying there's a chance? There's a chance. Let's see, let's go to that constitution. Let's just see what happens, guys, right? Everyone else tells him, no, that's a bad idea, but he insists. He goes over and starts eating the body, and I'm in the middle of describing his rapid fall in the infection when he starts screaming that that's bullshit and he shouldn't have died because the acid would have cooled. Acid cooled? What What does that mean? Acid's not hot. (laughs) (laughs) There was no acid, and to this day I have no idea what the fuck he was talking about. The character in question was a four-armed, mouth-handed, nailless, blank bling, 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 who dual-wielded great shields and came from a dimension of pain you couldn't understand. Is As it- in I, the GM, <laughs> couldn't understand, and that's why he couldn't describe it. He also insisted on trying to hoard magic items or roll lore with his terrible stats when he had someone in the party who basically couldn't fail them. He lasted for two more sessions, and as many characters, all of equal nonsense, before we had enough and kicked him. We'd been worried because he came as a package deal with another new player, who was actually okay. But it turns out that the guy was just someone they knew from middle school, and I'd hoped he had become a less of a spaz. <laughs> I think, no. <laughs> I, I feel like everyone kind of knows that person, though. Everybody knows that person. I, I feel like... I know a few, at least know a handful. You're one of them. Oh, thanks, Megan. <laughs> I'm not that bad, am I? <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, I think we can all, like, you know, say, like, yeah, someone you knew back in school that was just a bit of a fucking... Like, not... Yeah, just a bit of a mental. It's like, I wonder if they've calmed down by now. It's like, no. No, no they're just as mental. They're just as crazy as before. Explains a lot, you know? Sadly, it wasn't a death, but it should have been. We were at sea, and these enormous, aggressive fish started butting and chomping at the ship we were on, just below the surface. They were big enough to swallow a man whole, but didn't pose that much of an immediate threat because even though our ship was relatively small, it was still massive compared to the fish. We were more concerned about them doing long-term damage to it, or perhaps eventually doing significant damage in the near term if we just ignored them and allowed them to continue to attack continuously. So we shot and threw stuff in an attempt to kill or drive them off. We had a PC and an NPC who were archers, so they were our main attackers. The guy playing the PC archer was, I think, a little put out by an earlier encounter where we fought a sea serpent. He'd been frustrated that the NPC was hitting a greater percentage of his shots than he was. Of course the NPC was taking the time to carefully aim and so only shooting half as much. So it just made sense that each individual shot of his had an advantage. But the player didn't seem to take this into account. Possibly getting more aggressive and a desire to outshine the NPC. Okay, hold up, hold up. Is this NPC a DM player, a DM player character, though? Because that's a big... That, that I think that could like sway the whole story. Yeah. You know? So possibly getting more aggressive in a desire to outshine the NPC. He had not been particularly careful about the serpents, defensively speaking, and had left himself exposed, which resulted in him getting chomped pretty badly. This probably made him feel like he had something to make up for, so he acted even more brashly in the fish encounter. But the fish couldn't even get to him, so how brashly could he possibly act? I'm glad you asked me, 
because after we had driven off all the fish but one, he decided he was going to grab as much glory as possible and jump off the ship into the fish and stab it with a sword. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, guys, okay. I'm sure you guys remember you remember the crocodile hunter, you know... Um, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin, yeah. yeah. Notice that he never fucks with crocodiles in water. No. You do that on land. Yeah. Like, you know... Because they're at a disadvantage on Yeah, land. like, you know, you can handle them on mm-hmm. land. Just don't, guys. Yeah, just don't. don't. Just don't do <laughs> don't this. Don't go into their arena. <laughs> yeah. No, I know this sounds pretty dumb, but you're not taking into account that the fact he was wearing substantial armour. Oh so it was God. actually staggeringly stupid. So he announces that he's jumping off the boat. And I say something like, wait, aren't you wearing armour? And he shoots me a dirty look in reply. He misses the fish and immediately begins to struggle to stay afloat. Given that he's holding a sword, wearing armour, and carrying a decent bit of equipment, the fish circles around and moves for him. But the rest of us manage to hit the fish with enough shit that it turns away. Meanwhile, his magic rope shoots up and grabs the railing of the ship on its own accord, and starts to haul him out of the sea. That whole fiasco earned the PC the moniker of Fish Jumper. Uh, that was one of the worst one because I feel like okay, I've it's done not the, the worst, and it's not it's not the worst um, situation. It was a pretty stupid idea. It was a stupid idea, but, but a lot of players have a lot of stupid I ideas. Know. It depends. It was was he doing it as a meme though? If yeah, he was, it, was he doing it as a meme? That's what. That's if the it way. was me, and I jumped in the water, I probably would have forgot that I was wearing armor and shit, yeah. and it would have been like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, okay, guys, I'll tell you one that happened to me a while back. So we were at this league side. It was like Wee Village. And they said, oh, yeah, the league beside us is kind of haunted or whatever. So we go over to check it out. And we just start throwing locks in. You know, as you do. <laughs> as you do. You know what Haunted I mean? lake. Pelt it. Pelt it with locks. Something's going to start happen. Start skimming it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it turned out the lake was actually a gigantic water elemental. Well. Uh, <laughs> and we weren't really prepared to deal with it at all. So uh, I just decided I was playing a dwarf paladin at the time. And I was like, you know what, guys? Just how we look behind me, I'll just go in and start smiting it, will I? <laughs> you know? um, yeah, that ended really poorly. Thankfully, I didn't drown, and the players managed to pull us out. But also, quite a few other people also got dragged in oh, with fuck. us. Uh, it, was, it, like, it was a bit of a fiasco, but like we ended up not dealing with it. You know, we ended up just turning around and saying, you know what? Fuck your haunted lake. We're, We're going right. home. <laughs> a player drank another player who was transformed into a bottle of wine. Oh, that's brutal. As long as it tasted okay. Yeah, as long as it was a good... Was it white? Was it rosé? Was it, was it a good was it year? Was it know? a good year? Yeah. Gods have chosen their champions to battle to the death. Luckily, they can resurrect them to fight and die again and again. In this fast-paced, hard-hitting fighting game, reading your opponent is as important as rolling your dice. Use different attacks and abilities, cut through your opponent, or drive them into a wall of spikes. Pit Fighter features easy rules with gorgeous miniatures suitable for any tabletop skirmish, RPG, or war game. Each battle takes only one to five minutes, perfect for a group of friends with some downtime on game night or when someone has to pause to take a call. Party gains funny magic item meant to kill the big bad. Paladin yoinks the item despite having done no work for it, literally dipped the minute he was in danger. Sits around staring and pissing about with it while the big bad keeps getting closer and closer. Cleric tells him to get his shit together and takes the item off him. Paladin throws a hissy fit and tries to attack the cleric. In return, the cleric blasts the paladin into a ravine. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't dm since this session and plan to take a break for a bit. I was already getting burnt out and this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh. Fuck. Honestly, see, I, I said this before when it, like, you know, about the load. See players that just don't fucking do what the class is meant to do. It just... It, it is really annoying. Like, you know, like, I'm sorry, paladins are supposed to be frontline fighters. They're supposed to be able to take the damage. They're supposed to be able to take the blows. What are you doing? What are you getting on? Exactly. Like, you know, come on here, guys. Just don't be at that, yeah. you know? Jumped off a cliff while choking on Oroka and calling him a big faced faggot, assuming he would slow her descent enough to cushion the landing. The DM explained that a full plate male human would weigh too much and we would just fall like a stone. He offered to retcon the action, but I couldn't let the bastard go unchoked and I figured it would be a good story for the rest of the party. So we went splat with me yelling profanity at a bird the whole way down. The other party members got a hell of an intimidation bonus against the other two birds for information gains after. 
and I just rolled up a dwarf fighter to meet up with him later. Uh, no, you know, like sometimes death is a worthy cause. You know what I mean? And like, you know, I I, I think there was a right different choice. if it was early on in the game. You you like you, you haven't gained much XP or levels or what. But if you're into the game, I just like yeah, yeah, just it. <laughs> okay, just just go with it. You know, PC was given the power to stop time. That does not sound that's like a bad idea at all. That's a fucking disaster <laughs> waiting to happen. What DM would allow that? I know. I'm like, you hear about DM said, oh, you can't let the players fly because Fran will. But like, and, and Fran can. Fran is really hard to deal with. Oh my God. But like, stop stop time, time, that's... Oof. Told only to use it in the most extreme emergency. There is an entity that protects time and will most likely kill her for using this power. That's not a bad way to work around it. But I, still, th- I wouldn't like that out there. I, I, I don't think I would put that out there. It sounds a bit... It sounds very hard to work yeah. around, you know? Warn her out of game that this is a dangerous power and would likely lead to a character's death with no rules to escape it. Other player warns her out of game that she's encountered this thing before. It's basically a god. Its power is incomprehensible. Other PC tells her, This sounds bad. You should be careful with it. PC runs and hides in the bathroom and uses the power the instant she's out of earshot of everyone else. 1% chance Time God doesn't show up. Time God shows up. Character is faced with death. I decide Time God is looking for more human pawns to help it guard time. It offers her a job instead of killing her. This would still mean she loses the character, as it's busy elsewhere in the setting and I'm not running two games here. Player is mad that I killed her character oh, and spent like a week sulking about it before thinking of making a new character. Then, Literally, how many people I, told her? The DM told her, another PC... And another PC. <laughs> like, so there's only so much warning you can give. Yeah, there's and literally. Like, oh my god! And look, this this thread is about stupid character deaths. You win it, all right? Yeah. That, like, you know, with a one percent chance of the god not showing up. I know, like, hmm, mm. ha, hmm. that's up on you. Runs into the bathroom like she can hide from it. Like, <laughs> lock the door. Nobody's coming in. <laughs> knock knock. I'll, I'll give the DM credit for actually allowing her to have like a nice send off. Yeah. Instead of just straight up dying, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. You know, that's a nice way to retire yeah. a character. I, 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 I'll give the, I want to give the DM props for giving them the option. It means for it that. is open for maybe your character ever coming back. Maybe if the god shows mercy on that character, or, 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 or if, or if someone else in the game uses the item, will they, she come back or what? You know, it, yeah. it's open to a lot of different. It opens a lot of you doors. You can bring her back as like a DM player character. Yeah, it opens so many doors for like. If it's you bring gone. her, like, if you bring her back for a DM player character within the time that the time has stopped, and she can help you yeah. through that, you know, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot I don't of know. I, I wouldn't that. be asking this woman for help though, if no. I'm honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, no, no, you're fine. Thanks, you're fine. He decided to try and intimidate a lava flow because, haha, remember that avalanche? I'll do it, but lava. The DM is still called a fun hater to him by this day. <laughs> <laughs> Party pepper. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know, I'll, I'll give this guy credit. I, I like his spurt. I like his spurt. I, 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 I like his, I like his spunk. Yeah, oh, he, shit. I, <laughs> no, no. I like, yeah, I like his spunk. He's he's got something going on there. But uh, yeah, if I was the DM, like, mate, sorry, you're not you're not intimidating. Yeah. No, not on the fucking objects. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mine, I guess. Get magic item. Much later, an NPC says, "Don't use magic item to do thing." Asks several times why. NPC says, just don't. After using item for a while, get curious and use it to do thing. Somehow causes a time paradox and my character vanishes from existence. Oh, okay, okay. Is this the other person actually commenting? Mm, yeah, like, <laughs> it sounds very similar. It does, it, like, like, I hope it is the other player. I still don't understand how viewing your own past causes a time paradox. Because it, it's the point it's, of if you're there in that point in time, is it not? Um, and no. if they can see, if they see you, it can cause a time yeah, paradox. Yeah, if they, if they, if you interact with if them, if you interact like, you know, with yourself, because it never happened, so then it, therefore it, it changes. Yeah, like time travel is not my strong no. suit. Right. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Yeah, exactly. Can't be doing it. Back whenever dog he was cool. I miss them days. I miss them days so much. Goes somewhat like this. Party fights evil time dragon. Oh, for God's sake, more time dragon. I get magic mirror from dragon. DM is really strict on identifying, so I can't use it until a few sessions later. Wander into some elf village where we get sent to prison for reasons I can't recall. Elf village uses time magic for prison. Time elf judge says mirror can see into people's past. 
and not to look into my own. Wait, this is... <laughs> is that what the party <laughs> everybody the saying the same thing? <laughs> Both me and my character, not knowing why, ask several times. Literally every time I ask, the answer is just don't do it. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> play around with Mirror for a bit. Just getting info on party members and use it to try to get information on my sister, who my character is trying to find. Stop using Mirror for a while. A few actual months pass and I forget Time L's vague warning. Get stuck on some minor issue our group had. Decide to look into my own past because it might help. And I forgot warning. DM says my character vanishes from reality as I've, as I've created a time paradox from looking into my own past. But hmm. if, he, if he's only like period, is he, is he doing this like a pensive? Like, you know, from like Harry Potter style where it's like you're not even there. You're just like looking, looking at it. It's like, a, it's like a TV almost. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Then surely that wouldn't cause a time paradox if you're if you're looking at it, it through the mirror. Yeah, like you're not physically going through the mirror. Exactly, like Harry merge, Potter's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But, but the pens of surely works that, on yeah. it's, a, it's a memory. Um, yeah, but surely it would be the same though. Yeah. I don't that know. That wouldn't cause a time paradox. I wouldn't, I, w- I wouldn't go for that to be I a time paradox. I don't know how time works. But, uh, yeah. It's been years, but if I recall, the NPC slash judge was basically an important person in an elf village that used time magic. We met him for all of five minutes. He showed us snippets of our future and he refused to give me an actual answer when I asked him several times straight up what would happen. So I guess it's my fault for forgetting the guy's warning. But I'm still a bit salty I never got an explanation. I mean, how hard is it to say you'll die? The DM never even wanted me to find or have the mirror. I just rolled a 20 and he reluctantly gave it to me. Fun campaign outside of that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. If somebody like if I was in a campaign and said, "Oh, don't use it," but why? I just don't use it. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I, I, I can almost side with the player almost. I side with the player because um, you can't say that to me. Like the DM, the DM didn't want to hand it out, and yeah. I suppose this might be a lesson for him to be like, like, okay. So you have to, yeah, no, you have to use reverse psychology on me in games because I'm like, mm, but why? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a <idiot>. dear. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're too nosy though for you. I am too nosy. You're far too nosy for your own good. I know. A lot of the time. Okay, here's a story all about how my life I've got, got twisted upside, upside down. down. <laughs> I okay, can't, like, like, I can't <laughs> let, read that and update it. <laughs> okay, look, guys, the next cup bar will be out soon, alright? Okay. Okay, here's the story uh, <laughs> of, <laughs> of how I killed my character in the entire party. Party consists of a group of foreigners coming to a newly discovered continent. Continent is already inhabited by pacifists, hyper magical beings. These beings are being wiped out at a hilarious rate by one of their own, who went insane and no longer had qualms about being genocide ours. Population is convinced that all the attacks are being executed by foreigners, people like us. Fast forward to us trying to solve a puzzle. DM has a clear idea of how to solve the puzzle in his head. Puzzle consists of waking up a person from a trance. Tell us that we have everything we need to solve this. We proceed to exhaust literally every ability, item, resource, etc. at our disposal. Nothing works. Only one thing we haven't tried yet. Attacking the person stuck in the trance. We try it. DM explains how the person wakes up and instantly kills us all in a mess of gore. Well, like the head explodes? I don't know. He then tells us that we... No, he kills them. Yeah, no, but the D. But I'm, what I'm saying is, like, the person that they were attacking when they attacked, I don't know, like, his but, head explodes. No, no, like, but he killed them, so obviously the person's still alive. Oh, well. Oh, I um, don't know. Uh, like, okay, like, keep going, keep going. He then tells us that he wanted us to remember an artificer we spoke to earlier who could make an item capable of casting telepathic bond after realizing that we didn't have the answer at the time. Our Vidalcan Bard actually has the capacity to telepathically communicate with anyone. But for some reason, this didn't work on the puzzle. My wizard had detected thoughts, but this didn't work either. I asked him why he told us we had all the tools at our disposal, and he said that we should have remembered visiting an artificer like two sessions ago. I no longer play with that DM. He constantly fails to provide information, or provides deliberately false information in order to see us fail. I can what be a dick. Yeah, that, yeah, oh, be honest with you. I, I, I think, like, you know, using, like, the detect thought. Log out. Or, yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, log that's it, that's it. All right, I might. That's a SpongeBob. Yeah, I might. Mean I, moment. I, I once met a rogue player who decided to hide their gold by shoving it in their ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. They were low level and took so much damage from trying to get it in their ass that they died from it. Honestly, it was the funniest way to go. <laughs> well, I, I, 
I, okay. I, I want to know more about why the reason was to hide it in the ass was the only... Uh, maybe he had no pockets. Maybe he didn't have no pockets. I there don't know. Like, like the real question is, was he just trying to save all his money up to eventually buy a bag of holding to then eventually shove it in his ass? His ass was the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> One of mine. Golden dragonborn noble sorcerer. Inadvertently made a nemesis in the form of a dragon he kept manhandling with lucky rolls. At one point he starts lugging an expensive fancy chair he brought with him because a king needs a throne. <laughs> okay. okay. Final fight against the demon who's still not able to hurt Dragonborn because of shit luck. So smug and cocky he sits down in his chair during the fight. Fuck. You'll never be able to defeat me because you are beneath me. Uses dimension door on himself and the big heavy chair. Drops from hundreds of feet in the air and lands right on the demon. Turns both into chunky salsa and upholstery. Absolutely worth it. That, that's a good one. Actually, <laughs> that, that, that's, one, that's one of the best. That that's one good. of the best use of Dimension Door I've heard <laughs> yeah. in a very long time. Extreme por- Portal Edition. Like that there. I had a PC willingly drink a poison that he knew would kill him. The bottle was labelled Poison with three skulls on it. He found the note of the assassin who had it and they detailed that it was hyper dangerous. Out of game, it was explained that these notes, more or less, meant a single save versus death with heavy penalties and then death if failed. Notes claimed no known antidote short of magic. Notes indicated this is an ingested poison. PC verifies this information with Rogue and Party, who double checks with Underworld contacts. Rogue finds out it's extremely valuable and tells the PC who has the poison, offers to fence it for 7% fee. PC declines, says he's going to save it. I thought this meant that he's going to use it as a weapon. PC then puts it in a noble's drink in plain view. <laughs> Keeps a smug look on his face when the noble asks his honoured guest to drink from his own chalice. PC drinks from chalice, knowing it has fucking epic poison in it. Feels the save, dies. Player throws a tantrum about this and leaves, shouting that he should have survived for more reasons than I can remember. Honestly, I was too busy laughing with the other players to listen to his rap. <laughs> like, 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 I'm sorry. At least do it out of fucking sight. I, I just sight and I agree scramble go persuasion of like, oh no, 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 my culture, you see. No, no, I couldn't. Drink I don't from drink, you. I know uh, this and all that. No, no, you could, like, come on, you could have made something wrong. At least try and do a persuasion. <laughs> Instead of being that. like, okay. <laughs> you know, you, glug, glug. come on, come on, come on. Anyway, we'll segue into the the well way. Um, I don't think I've ever had like a genuinely good funny character death bar like you know the only times my characters have died is just like in combat and like feeling deaths even through yeah. that's it the funniest one I can think of that happened recently was um, okay so we're in this fire temple so we were the boys had already been there but they had to sh- like lap up the session but it was one of those ones we just went back to the temple to kind of finish it off objective was we had to go get this like golden egg thing for a contract um, the guys have already like explored it they knew what they were doing so I'm the rogue I'm the goblin and we had a druid with us the druid turns into an elk we decide right we're going to run in as quick as we can grab the egg and then we're going to leg it hightail it out of there because it's going to be like Indian Jones you know Temple of Doom all this stuff's going to fall yeah. down from the rocks it's going to be it's going to be nasty right anyway anyway so we go for it. Um, I'm I'm also I'm doing like a little cowboy thing at this moment, just because I've got um, like a peg leg rifle. So I'm like trying to get off some shots, like do a little quick doing like yeah. little cowboy stuff. Anyway, anyway, we go ahead. I managed to swipe the egg. I completely forget. I'm I'm tied on to the druid by his horns, <laughs> and he turns on me. He's like, "Gobby, do you trust me?" It's like, "Oh yeah, sure." <laughs> and he's like, "Okay." Polymorph back into dwarf. It's like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, he had one of those uh, cooks of Montague or whatever you call them. You know the teleporting cooks. Yeah. Teleport back on the ship. Well, sweet. However, the rest of the party still waiting at, uh, <laughs> inside, and we're quite deep in. Everyone else is like, oh shit! So everyone starts to in. Everyone starts lagging it. Bar the one dwarf barbarian. Now the dwarf, bar- uh, he decided. You know what? Fuck this temple of dim shit. I, I'm going to go out and explore, Swam. So he goes ahead, <laughs> he goes out to explore, and the DM decides, you know what, I'm actually going to give him all this shit. He like finds like a chest that's full of like, really nice dwarven armor, he finds like a good battle axe with like flame tongue, stuff like that. Um, he's constantly being eaten by... Now, I should have said, 
while this is going on, there's locks falling, the snakes going out of it all, like, any, everywhere. It's like, you know, remember Indiana Jones and the insect scene? You guys oh, know that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like that, but with snakes. So he's sitting getting eaten, he's sitting getting locks falling on his head. Somehow he just waddles out of there. He decides to also put on the armor, I should say, and he's not proficient in it, and he can only move 10 feet at a time. <laughs> Um, we're, it's it, like it's it's far in like you know I'm talking it's like a good like well maybe 300 foot or so you know so that's like 10 10 turns at least yeah. he somehow manages to make it out of there with uh, two hit points left I'm just saying Teal should have fucking killed him <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying Please. DM like, should have killed him but it was really funny and it was nice to because he, he was doing all the goals and whatever and it just wasn't happening <laughs> he really should have died but I thought it was quite funny that he actually got away with it so uh, there you go if you guys have any Stop stories it. like that definitely leave them down below because I, I love reading them yeah. and if we get enough good ones we'll tell we'll you guys you know what I mean we'll do a video on your one but, so definitely let us know down below um, as always please check out the models they really help yes. us out a lot uh, we've also uh, yeah um, all that other good stuff you know the deal subscribe if you enjoyed it check all the links Thanks. hit the notification bell and the actual notification bell you guys know how it is at this stage, you know. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you next time. Bye.